this is the session about view style plugins in Drupal 8. Uh, I tried to uh, cover, I'll try to cover uh, Drupal 8 views and Drupal 7 views plugins as well, so that all the guys which haven't worked with, you know, view style plugins before would get, uh, can get an idea how to build the style plugins. So, first of all, I'm Gibran Hijaz. Uh, I think if you have attended uh, yesterday's morn, uh, the keynote, you should probably know me <laughs> by now. But uh, I'm, uh, just for the uh, sake of introduction, I, I work for Previous Next, and I'm a backend developer. I have more than 150 commits, commit mentions at Drupal.org. Uh, I'm a maintainer of shortcut modules, and I have a lot of views-related plugins, uh, including views. I, uh, I also maintain a view, field view module, uh, Drupal 8 branch at, on Drupal.org. So let's get started. So first of all, what is the views module? Anyone? Sorry? <laughs> OK. So views uh, is a query building tool in which you can uh, build a query from UI. And you can display that, uh, the output of that query uh, properly formatted in, in HTML. And you can create different displays from that query. So, so, so as I reckon that views have two parts. Query part in which you can uh, select the base table and you can add relationship to that table. You can add sorting on the table and you can add different fields to that table. So after the query, you can display that query into proper uh, you know, a page or a blog or a pane, whatever you want to display, whatever in whatever display you want to show it, or uh, if you want to attach that display uh, display to an entity, or if you uh, you know uh, just wanna attach the existing display to another entity, uh, another view, so you can do that. And this output part also. Uh, also consist uh, the fields and their styling. So I'm going to, you know, concentrate on output part now. So output part has, uh, again, two parts display in which, you know, I, as I described earlier, you can choose uh, different kind of display pages and blocks and attachments and entity views. And then you can style them, like uh, formatted fields, unformatted fields, uh, you know, collapsible fields, and stuff like that. So, so now I'm going to take a deep dive in view style plugins and what are those plugins. So have you heard about views PHP module? So have you ever used that module? So, sorry? <laughs> Why shamefully? So, so can someone answer that question? Why you need views PHP module? Why do you ever use that module? Yeah, so the thing is that whatever style plugin you are using, uh, it doesn't provide you that thing, or uh, you know that option to add that on your display. So uh, you need some kind of query, SQL query, or you know you want to uh, show some kind of listing. Uh, you want to change some HTML. Whatever you want to do, you can do that in that views PHP mode. So what if you uh, you can you know write a view style plugin for yourself 
and you can use that in future with all that changes and you don't have to you know worry about deploying the code or wrong php uh, and you know generating a fat uh, which you cannot locate ever again uh, in your production side so you can avoid all that by writing this view style plugin uh, so let's take a look okay so in drupal 7 that's how we start first of all in the module file we mention our hook views api hook the job of this hook is to let views know that uh, i have something that you know i want to integrate with views so this is the way we you know send the message to views and after that you know views is a very uh, different thing with all, all our module calculation and backend logic so uh, so what we try to do is that we try to keep our all the views related stuff and hooks into a different module file so we'll use uh, you know module name my module dot views dot inc file so you know inc is include include file and we try to use that and we let uh, in views api uh, know in views api we let views know that this is the views and inc file in my module which you, i can i'm going to be using for you know uh, displaying the uh, for views hooks and you know default views so in that inc file we have to write a views plugin hook so this hook uh, adds the view uh, plugins definition to hooks uh, to views sorry so there are many plugins in views uh, uh, if you can you know look into views there are query plugins and there are style plugins and there are sorting plugins and uh, there are field plugins so we can uh, we'll look into the style plugins now so in the definition uh, then we have to mention the uh, class and we have uh, and you know this that class has all the business logic related to that style so we try to keep that you know separate as well so for that we have to add another file so so far we have a hook and two separate files and then after adding that file we have to include that file in the info file as well you know uh, so that registry would know that uh, where to find that class so 1 2 3 4 5 there so <laughs> okay so in drupal 8 it's very simple for you just drop a class in this folder and just add metadata to that class in form of annotations and you are done you have a style plugin so as you can see it's a long name and you have you have to you know look at, you can't remember that long name what is source plugins view style so i i can give you a short you know hack for that to, to, to you know so that you can remember that for your rest of your life <laughs> so it's not that difficult to you know look at it and remember that Okay, so this is it. no, yeah, yeah. So, so SRC is the main folder in Drupal 8, which uh, in which you uh, add your classes, and then uh, Drupal 8 support plugins, uh, uh, which are actually you know uh, to store some kind of metadata and uh, which provide some functionality like blocks and. Uh, feeds and stuff like that so it's a, a, a drupal 8 thing so we have an, a we have a plugin api and, and there is a proper page on api.drupal.org on which you can read all about plugins so views is using this plugin system in drupal 8 to display uh, uh, to you know declare his plugins and to use those plugins uh, views plugins are using the plugin api in drupal 8 
it's kind of confusing thing, but it's like that. Okay, so then we have these plugins, and then we have the module in which uh, for which this plugin belongs to. So this is a views modules plugin, and then the type of the plugin. The so style is the type of that plugin here, and so we are declaring style type views plugins. And what is mystyle.php? It's the name of the class, and uh, it is, it's PSR zero thing, a PSR four thing. So uh, your file name should match your class name. So it's there. So then in the in that class, you have to add this comment-like thing, uh, which is actually JSON, and uh, it is used to hold your views-related data. And uh, uh, I'll get into that uh, in, in, into more detail in the next slides. Uh, but it, it is there to you know uh, let views know that uh, this is a view-style plugin. So you don't have to write, you know, you don't have to uh, do all that four steps now. You just add, have to add a class and just add that text in that class. Okay. So, so now I, as as I mentioned before, that the primary reason of using Views PHP is uh, that we also want to style something. We also want to change the display, or we want to load something and then change that display or you know, configure, uh, configure our HTML. So you can also do that in view style plugin. The basic reason of uh, you know, view style plugins is that you can update your markup and you can change the markup with your logic and you don't have to worry about that uh, you know, in theming system. So, so markup can be controlled using Options, style options. Uh, as you remember, if you have worked with views, you you should know that there are uh, you know classes you can choose from. There are formatters you can choose from. So uh, there are there are always uh, options uh, for each and every style plugins which you can configure and you know change your markup style. So every query is fetching a lot of data from. Uh, uh, you know your database so this data chunk has his chunk can be called a row and it is duty of style plugin to uh, theme that row in a proper format format so so if you are building a style plugin just make sure you are using a proper raw plugin uh, for you know styling your data uh, uh, for styling the row so if you are not using a proper row plugin to style your row, then you can break that uh, thing for themers, uh, which, uh, who wants to override you know, your, their row theme function, or you want to change the markup of theme or rows. So you have to uh, use that as well. Sorry. So now let's get to the definition part of use. Drupal 7, uh, style plugins in Drupal 7. So as you can see that uh, we are declaring a big array, uh, which, is, which is plugins array, and we are declaring style plugins. And this is a contrib module I have created. Uh, it's called vertical tabs. Uh, I'll show the demo in the end. Uh, and I am, you know, adding some metadata about that plugin, that uh, what is the title of the plugin, and which handle it's going to use, and which options uh, you know, I'm exposing to the user, and which option user can change in the views. Simple enough, but it, it is in a separate file. So in Drupal 8, you don't have to write this thing in a separate file. As uh, we talked earlier, that uh, you can do that in views annotations. And uh, uh, this is same as uh, same definition as plugins a definition in who views plugins, but it is it's now in the class and it's in the comments, uh, which are called annotations, and it's in a JSON format. So, 
we have ID, title, and help text, same as before. And uh, we have removed these use, uses, and I think that's it. So there are no options in the, uh, in the view style annotations because there are, they are logical things, and we are not uh, using view style plugin for logical or you know overridable options. So now, as you can see through the definition, that we are declaring a handler, which is actually a class. This is a handler. It's, it's a class name. So, so in Drupal 7, we are extending that class from the views uh, default, you know, style plugin, and uh, we are uh, this class. Uh, the responsibility of this class is to hold all the business logic of that style plugin. It is slightly changed in Drupal 8. In Drupal 8, we are using style plugin, uh, plugin base class, uh, and all the logical options which were originally part of, uh, you know, hook views data and removed from annotations are now the properties in the in this style plugin class. Okay. So in Drupal 7, we used to use uh, the snake notation for all the functions and methods. And uh, uh, we use the, the op option def definition function uh, to define uh, some plugins related option which are configurable, uh, configurable by users. And then uh, in option form, uh, we can create a proper form uh, for user and represent user a proper form. Uh, so that they can configure and change the, uh, that options according to their requirements. So in Drupal 8, uh, we are not using that snake notation anymore. So uh, that's the, the name of the functions are slightly changed. And uh, so we are using camel case now. And uh, the function name is actually the same, but not the snake properties, but with the camel case properties. And they are doing the same thing as they were doing in Drupal 7. So next thing that I want to talk about is that you have created a style plugin, and user has enabled that. And now he has chosen the different configuration according to their requirement. And now what to do with those requirements. Now what we can do with those requirements. So in seven, D7, we used to have this theme line in hook views data, uh, hook views plugin function. And uh, that, uh, that theme is responsible for styling that bit of the style plugin or the rows. And in Drupal 8, that is moved to views annotation. It's simple enough. And we can use a uh, preprocessor uh, function to, you know, uh, manipulate all the options and all the requirement, uh, all the things which uh, which user has changed and configured in his original views. So Drupal 8 is now using Twig templates. So uh, uh, all the templating uh, is done through Twig. So there are no more PHP templates in Drupal 8. So view, it's same for views as well, and view style plugins. So technically, views, uh, views vertical tab dot tpl dot php will be converted to vertical tab dot html dot twig template twig file. So as we talked about, uh, earlier about preprocessor, that resources preprocessor functions are there to you know work on those options which uh, user uh, which user has selected uh, during the configuration of views so uh, if user has uh, cho uh, has chosen some field for a title of a view uh, or you know the, the user has uh, added some classes to the views uh, we can you know change those settings and we can uh, manipulate markup in, uh, 
in the views uh, preprocessor function. So this will be the preprocessor function for the views vertical tab. So uh, other than uh, manipulating the option, the main responsibility of uh, you know preprocessor function is to render proper HTML uh, for rows as well as we talked earlier that it's a uh, major thing for style plugin and it's their responsibility to use proper rows plugins and proper rows uh, theme function to render output. So if we are talking about this uh, specific uh, uh, module, then in this case, it's the responsibility of uh, the preprocessor function to create a renderable array. As you know, that vertical tab is a form API element, and uh, uh, it is created by uh, uh, the, uh, it is created by renderable array, and we can configure the title of vertical tabs and uh, how many tabs we are going to have in the vertical tabs and stuff like that. So uh, in this uh, so in this case, vertical tab has this responsibility to show the uh, to create the renderable array that which will be ready for you know the displays. And vertical tabs also uh, support summary. Uh, as, as you know that on node edit form, uh, when you are selecting uh, comment on and off, on and off options or you know publish uh, option, publishing options, uh, that summary get updated. So same goes for the vertical tabs as well. So this is the simple. Uh, TPL file for D7, and it, it is just rendering vertical tabs, and it is uh, because, I, as I said earlier, that uh, vertical tab, uh, you know, do, uh, variable is a renderable array, and we are just rendering this, uh, that array. So this template file should be there because uh, should have to be there because we are uh, using theme function. And uh, it's our responsibility for you know uh, for other users or you know front end developers uh, have uh, so that uh, front end developer have that option to override this and change the markup as they will as they want to. So uh, there's a, not a lot of difference in template wise. So we are just rendering uh, the views tab like this in uh, tabs like this in. Drupal 8, sorry. So you, uh, now I can show you the, the, all that thing in action. And uh, you, for this, you have to go to the module page and download the module file and uh, drop that in your module directory, enable that. And uh, you can select the styling option there. And then you can configure all the configuration you have chosen in the uh, as, uh, you have chosen uh, in the views and uh, uh, you have added in the view uh, your plugin and then you can dis display that on the output side Thing. Yeah. So this is a module page. As you can see, it's a style plugin module. So I'm going to use this dev version of view style plugins. And after downloading, uh, this is a add new screen of that uh, view uh, views page, and you can, as you can see that I'm creating a content view here. And here at display format, I have this views vertical tab option available for me. I can create a teaser view, but it, it's, it would make more sense for fields. So I'm going to create a views for fields. And after creating a view, as you can see, this is the style plugins available to me in views. So I have a grid style. I have HTML list, tables. These are, uh, these are the default styles. 
from, uh, uh, from views, and this is the contrib module I have added. So I have selected use style plugin, and now I can go to the settings, which I have added using option forms. So I can select tab title here, tab summary, and I can add a description to vertical tab as uh, to the vertical tabs as well. And there are some default options in this form, like add row classes. Uh, this is this is from the base class of view style plugins. So I have chosen some different fields for that. So title is hidden, tag is hidden, and body is only visible. And I have created three nodes. And each vertical tab is showing the title and you know the tags as summary. And I'm, I'm rendering this text as a main body. And I can select any tab. So I have created a page view. I have also, also I can also show you the page. So we have a, a title. This is actually bug. Title is showing twice. So uh, we have an active issue in Drupal uh, Drupal eight to fix that. As you can see, that bodies uh, the tags are changing here, but. Uh, they have the same body, so it is not visible that much. So, but it is changing. <laughs> so, if I can show you the back end of this is So this is a module file which has template prefacer function. And as I said, that it, it has the responsibility to manipulate all the options in the style plugin. And let me show you the cla main class view style plugins. So can you see that? It's a bit dark, but yeah. So, so OK. So yeah. So the class is originally extending the style plugin class, and it has all that options. And I am defining some uh, or default options like title, description, and summary, which I can you know configure in the option screen. And then I am creating a form for user for those fields. And as you can see, this is a simple Drupal form, nothing fancy. So on the basis of those options, I am looping through all the rows, as you can see here. Uh, sorry. So all the rows here, and I am you know, rendering them using the style plugin and placing their output. So this is the so this is the proper uh, form API element which I am creating, and then I am uh, process, pre, uh, processing the form API element, and, and and this is the renderable element which I am going to use to uh, you know render the uh, vertical tabs. So I am also adding summary as, as a JS element to the uh, use vertical tab. And it is, uh, and as you can see, that these summaries are calculated using the uh, views fields uh, which we have selected in the options. So it's not that hard to do, and you can avoid all that views PHP uh, and all the fetals. And so. You can use that.
so thank you for uh, Daniel Wiener uh, because uh, he helped me a lot during uh, figuring this, uh, these things out and uh, Lee Rollin for the moral support and previous next for sponsoring my trip to Drupal South and Drupal South to, for giving me the opportunity to present. So any questions? Yeah. No, it's the uh, it's almost the same thing as Drupal Seven. Nothing changed during Drupal Seven, Drupal Eight uh, in in the context of theming of style plugins or any plugins. In. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's the thing. So I'm the owner of this plugin, right? So it's my responsibility to give a, tem a proper templating function to that, uh, for, uh, provide a proper templating function for that plugin. So it get called every time. So user can, you know, always rewrite that in template.php of the theme function or which is dot theme file now, theme, not, uh, theme name dot theme file now. So uh, th uh, actually naming that template underscore processor is the, uh, the reason for that doing that is that it get called every time. Yeah. Yeah, but it, uh, but after calling this, okay. Okay. Sorry, what? So you can override this in your, uh, uh, you know, custom module or in your theme. Sorry, I didn't get the proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because because views UI the total responsibility of views UI is to provide a proper UI. So act, the actual plan uh, is it's to create a swappable UI so that a contrib can replace that. It's not possible as far as I can tell you, but it's a plan to change that. <laughs> they are pretty, wired pretty tight together, so it's not, uh, you know, an easy task to do, but it's possible. Uh, I have seen some uh, modules in uh, Drupal 7 uh, which with custom UIs. Anyone? Thank you.